Ok, vamos. Ok. <coughs> here, let me switch around. <coughs> so, Carlos here with uh, Yame Carlos, see? ¿sí? Mm -hmm. sí. Ok. Uh, nosotros, well, I'll say it in English. Um, we are walking to Jersey Strong. This is part of the point that I'm trying to make today to the fitness center, Jersey Strong. Um, it's a couple blocks from here, but I always prefer when I can to walk there. And part of my challenge, which you'll hear in a moment when we get there, is regarding the role of um, gyms and fitness centers in general in our culture uh, and what kind of things they can do that can be very proactive. <clears throat> but I will wait and I will save my breath and you can just go on the walk with us. So we are walking through Freehold. Um, we left the borough, we're in Freehold Township. And <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of running today. But hopefully you'll bear with me while I do the running. Um, and at the end I'm going to present the challenge. Also I'm a little under the weather. I ran the marathon on Sunday. So... Um, and I'm a little injured, so I'm going to do eight laps. And those eight laps are for the, um, the eight victims in Manhattan last Tuesday. So, was it nine days ago now? So we're behind Jersey Strong, which is, uh, was also tagged in this video. Si mucho sol ahí, so no, es mejor. So, Rota S. See? Empty ended? See? Yeah. Sí. Okay. Alright. So you notice the Jersey Strong sign and you notice all the cars in the parking lot. Um, that's sort of the topic that's very pertinent to what I'm try the point I'm trying to raise here today. So we're almost to the starting line. Okay. So Carlos Tavez, uh, ahí. Um, sí. Okay, so now we're out in front and I'm going to change into my running gear. Well, not really. I'm just gonna I'm get ready a little bit more. So here, um, you could hold. Mm -hmm. and yeah, and I will, I guess. So I've got my runner's bib, run over cars. Mm. So this is a run over cars thing. Uh, you know what, I'll put my clothes over there. And I've got zip away pants today.
Alright, so here's the deal. I, I ran the marathon on, um, on Sunday. And New York City, huge city, much bigger than anything Jersey Strong has going with their, with their eight or nine locations around New Jersey. Um, they shut down a huge amount of the city that it was no cars, what I called carjin lines. They marginalized cars. Um, so if they can do that for a day, and I, they could do it in a lot more than just a day, Jersey Strong should be able to also um, live up to their name. Because it's my opinion that fitness centers also play a part in our culture. And by saying Jersey Strong, and it's, in, it's implying that through our muscles we're strong, yeah, we could be fit, but what things are we doing that make New Jersey incredibly weak that I feel? Well, look at all the cars. So many people drove here. Not just here, they drive everywhere. We drive everywhere. New Jersey, just like many other states, is super car dependent. And even if we became carless, all our food, for the most part, comes from other places. It comes from California, it comes from Mexico, it comes from Central and South America, some of it even comes from China. That is not a strong state in my mind. So I want to challenge Jersey Strong to help move us in the direction of being really strong, which is not just building our muscles up. There's a lot more to being strong than just that. So um, it's the timeliness of this is that I'm going to work in the event in this event, um, eight laps, because I can't really do much more than that. That'll be just over a mile. Um, I'm still injured, and actually later today I'm getting a hernia repair surgery, so then I won't be able to do it for a while. Um, I'm gonna run eight laps to honor the eight victims of the car violence uh, last week on Halloween. That happened in New York City. So um, that's where the symbolism of the eight comes from. Um, and actually there were many more victims than eight. There's all the people who were injured, who are, have, now have trauma, and the families who now have uh, loss. So the victims goes w well beyond eight, but the actual eight deaths that incurred because some guy decided to turn a car, which is a weapon, into a weapon and use it intentionally as a weapon. A lot of the time it's an unintentional weapon, but it's still a weapon. Um, so I guess, uh, I guess I'm going to put this, um, I'll put it over there, so, uh, yo coreando, mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. so, y tu, uh, camino, you know, despacio, okay, okay. So I did one and a half laps so far. Um, when I'm done with eight laps, I'm gonna say what the actual challenge that I'm giving the Jersey Strong is. I'm not here to shame them. Um, they're, it's a huge, it's much bigger than anything they've done. But uh, after six and a half more laps, if I finish, it's already hurting my ankle. Um, I am going to say what the challenge is. So, um, yeah, but that'll be, 
I don't want to do it yet. So, so you guys stick around. All right, so I'll keep going. Okay, good. Cuando termino, un más, hasta ahí, entonces, like, enfrente de. Okay, so Tavez ahí también, tres más para mí.
Jersey Strong, um, and anybody else watching, well, probably Jersey Strong isn't watching right now, but later on I'm going to send this to them. So what's the challenge? What am I doing? Jersey Carlos, I just ran eight laps around this building. The reason I chose the number eight is there were eight people killed using a car, actually a pickup truck. Um, last uh, Halloween, nine, ten days ago, last week. So, um, cars, whether or not that happened, cars are weapons. They are unintentional weapons a lot of time, but over a million people die around the world a year because of cars. Also, there's 20 to 30 million injuries, I believe. I forget if that's the world or even just in this country. It's an insane amount of injuries and chronic pain stem from car use. Also, we are dependent on faraway places for our sources of food and resources and we're depleting resources because we keep these machines going. It's an insane thing. I'm the one who looks insane because I'm doing something like this. But I've called myself a warrior before and warriors in my mind are different than just war makers because we're defending something. I'm defending the land, la tierra, necesita, defense because the land is parking lot. We cannot survive on parking lot. It's insane and it's not going to be forever. So, run over cars. I've been doing this kind of activism with the marathon. So, that's explaining sort of what I'm doing. Now, the challenge that I have for you specifically, New York City Marathon shut down New York for a day, shut down a huge amount of New York. What I want Jersey Strong to do is to shut down the parking lots for a day. June 1st, which is uh, just over six months, uh, six months from my birthday, actually December 1st, June 1st, also known as May 32nd, it's a Friday. I want Jersey Strong to tell everybody that is their clients, no cars in the parking lot. You can get here by using a bike, by maybe being dropped off on a carpool. No Uber though, just something that makes sense, but really try to run here, walk here, or bike here. Because if you're a fitness place, but people are driving here, like that's part of the culture that to me is just dumb. It's insane. We should be using our bodies more than that. We shouldn't be driving to gyms. 
and there are plenty of people at this specific gym especially that do walk here, that do jog here. I pass them when I go. When I'm leaving, I see them coming. So it's not unheard of. But other people, oh, it's too far, it's too cold. Figure it out, all right? We live here, we gotta take care of this land. We can't be running over it with our machines. We have to destroy the land. So again, it's cold out here. Um, the challenge is for Jersey Strong to make it a policy or like an announcement. Obviously, some people are still gonna drive, but to at least put it out there. Show you're strong, show you have the courage to do something different. Say that June 1st, also known as May 32nd, more courage to you can call May 32nd. That's a challenge to the calendar I have. Say that it's um, no car day. Get to Jersey Strong, show you're strong, get here some other way. And maybe something could catch on. And one day, maybe all it takes is one day, a change of consciousness. People will start driving less and less. We'll have less deaths on the road. We'll start realizing how dependent we are on cars, on machines. But we should only be dependent on our own, our, on our own bodies. We shouldn't be dependent on these machines. That's what makes us very weak. So, anyways. Um, I guess I'm going to end it there, I can't think of it, I'm sure there were other things I wanted to say, but whatever, I'm pretty deep, um, I gotta, I gotta go rest up, this injury kind of got reactivated, so it's only five days since the marathon, and I'm not built to run marathons too well, um, alright, so that's all, so thank you for listening, and um, we're going to end it here, so this was a Jersey Carlos versus Jersey Strong, I did my part, that eight laps, so now we'll see if Jersey Storm can do their part of my challenge to them.